Good morning, Grade Eights, and welcome to Worksheet Cloud. This is Grade Eight English, and I hope that you had a lovely day yesterday. If you have a question during the lesson, please send an email with your question to Grade Eight at WorksheetCloud.com. Now, this is a very different situation from normal school, but I do hope that you do participate by writing down, making notes. I know I won't be able to see you put your hand up or give me some encouragement with a giggle or a laugh, but let's see how this goes. Who am I? I am Mrs. Goslett. I'm very excited to be teaching you today, and I really hope that we can have fun and that you can learn something at the end of this. Please grab a notebook. And a pen. You can also grab a piece of paper if you don't have a notebook. I will um, tell you when you need it. Right, today we're going to be learning about interjections. Now some of you might have done this before and that's also fine. This can be a revision lesson and some of you might be doing this for the first time, which is great. The aims and objectives of this lesson, I would love if you would be able to take away and really understand what an interjection is. And also the purpose. Why do we use interjections? Right, let's get to it. What is an interjection? Now, if I look at the word interjection, it almost feels like someone's going to abruptly interrupt me. And let's see what the definition of an interjection is. An interjection is a word that is added to a sentence to convey emotion or show sounds. So sometimes it's difficult to show our emotion through words. If I just say, I'm angry, it doesn't really portray my emotion that I'm angry. Hopefully you will go, oh, I'm so angry. So that is what we're looking for. That word before that I used, I can hear some of you laughing and giggling at me. And that's fine, as long as you laugh with me and not at me. Okay, so I spoke about the angry. Um, emotion shows sounds. Hmm. What? What do you think that is there? Hmm. Hmm. Think about it. But I'm doing it right now. Hmm. So sound could just show. Um. Your ma'am, I don't know the answer to this question. Um. Okay, let's get into it. So I just put this here so that you can understand where it comes from. So we have our parts of speech. We have our nouns, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, conjunctions, prepositions, and look there, interjections or an interjection. Okay, so it forms part of our parts of speech. Right, grab that notebook for me and a pen or a piece of paper. You're going to do an activity for me. You can also verbally do this with me. So I'm going to show a picture and we're going to try think of an interjection that we can use. So let's look at the first one. Now, hopefully, you all are going, oh, it's so cute. It's a puppy. So we're looking for the interjection. Ah, oh. oh, it's so cute. Okay, hopefully you got that. If you didn't, it's all right. There could be many others. So this looks a bit dangerous, but I'm going to speak of an example. When I was younger, my brother and I, used to love to play cricket outside. So the windows were obviously nearby and there were many times where we almost um, hit the window with a ball. 
and I would always look to him and we'd kind of have that that smirk of oh phew that was a close one so the interjection there was phew that was a close one okay so the few so hopefully you can relate and hopefully the ball didn't go through the window when you guys were playing with your brothers and sisters or family members right let's look at the next one a broken mug i'm sure most of us have broken something in our lives so i'm gonna go with oops i broke a mug or i could say whoops um, we also sometimes go, oopsie, I made a mistake. So the oops or the whoops is the interjection there. Right, oh, look at that beautiful beach. Oh, it's summer, I love summer. So for me, this picture, I definitely go, woohoo, it's summer holiday. Or we could use something different like, Yippee! Hooray! It's a summer holiday. If you don't like summer, then I'm sure you'll have a different word. But that is my interjection there. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Taylor Swift. Now you might be thinking, yo, man, this is a tough one. But for me, I love Taylor Swift. I love her music. I think she's so talented, she writes her own music, and she's a very successful artist. So for me, I would say, gee whiz, she's so talented. Or you could also say, gee whiz, she's so smart. So my interjection there is gee whiz. Okay. Ah, we have the Kardashian sisters. Now, if you don't know them, they like to fight. And I'm sure if you have a sibling, you know, I'm sure siblings, we love each other, but sometimes we just get on each other's nerves. So the interjection we could use there is, oh, my sister is so annoying. So the interjection there was, oh, okay. Hope you're still with me. Let's look at the next example. Okay, so they look like they're having fun, but I'm using this more in the negative way. So if you don't want to run and your mom is forcing you, you just want to lie down, you just want to do, you know, what you want to do, like chill and watch TV. So you say to your mom, no, I don't want to go for a run. So the no is also an interjection because you're expressing your emotion. Right, let's look at the next one. Ooh, vegetables. Now, only when you get older do you appreciate it. But let's go with we don't like them they're quite gross so if you want to say they're disgusting what interjection can we use there think about it i think some of you are already looking at the broccoli or the green things and they're going ew that's disgusting so that's our interjection ew some of you are going to go mmm that's so delicious but i think the next one is for that now when i was younger i was only allowed uh, dessert if I ate my vegetables. So I ate it and then I would get this. Oh, look at that chocolate. So we're going to go with mmm. Or we could say mmm, 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 that is delicious. So our interjection there is that sound that we're making. Okay, so this, this actress looks a bit confused. Or she doesn't really understand what's going on. So sometimes we do get confused. So we need another sound. What sound would you make if you're confused? You can go, huh? I don't understand. Okay, so we've got huh as our interjection. All right, so these are the interjection examples that I use for the photos. So our first one was the puppy. Okay, and then we've got few. Oops, woohoo, gee whiz, Taylor Swift is smart. Ugh, I don't like my sister or my brother. No, mom, I don't want to go running. Ew, that's so disgusting. Mmm, delicious. Huh? I don't understand. Okay, so please will you grab a piece of paper and your pen, and I'd like you to come up with your own. 
Uh, maybe you have ones that you always say um, that you can think of now. So you can take the time, pause the video, and then just start it again when you are ready. Right, let's look at some more examples. Maybe you came up with some of these. Awesome! Hey! Bingo! Yes! Wow! Yikes! Yuck! Oh no! Oh my! Hooray! Yahoo! I love the excited ones. Okay, and here are just a few more examples that we might not have known. Um, there's holy, I know holy goes with holy cow, or um, golly gosh, rats, we've had yippee, yikes, we've had whoops, we've also got their congratulations, see here, congratulations, so that can also be um, your yeah, interjection, duh, fiddlesticks, that's quite an interesting one, um, Shoo, ouch, yuck, we had yuck, um, drat. So these are all our interjections. So you can pause the screen if you want to have a look. Um, I also quite like this one, gadonk, gazonk, smokes, holy smokes. Um, oh, dearie me, any of those, ahoy. Right, let's go on. Okay, so if you noticed in our previous examples, most of them, or actually all of them, had an, in, um, an exclamation mark. So usually an exclamation mark follows an interjection because we need that, um, that strengthening, and I've got it here at the bottom, exclamation marks are used to accentuate and strengthen the tone of a statement. So I'm not going to go, hooray, I'm going on a summer holiday. So you don't get the tone. So if you add an exclamation mark, it adds that emphasis, that tone. So hooray, yay, or no, not no. Okay. Interjections are often set off separately from complete sentences. So this is important, maybe you want to write a little story or you want to include it. So this is how we would write it. So you start off by saying the interjection or you write it awesome and then you've got your exclamation mark and then you've got your complete sentence over here. Our team won the game. So it adds, it adds a bit of color to our sentence. So if we just said our team won the game, there is the level of excitement. But if we add in awesome, it's just that level of praise and you feel good and it adds that emotion. Then let's look at the next one. Hey, don't tease me. So hey here is our interjection. And here's our complete sentence. Don't tease me. Okay, so that's how we write interjections. Some interjections show sounds. Okay, so we spoke about some of them. The, the, the delicious dessert we were talking about, that was mmm. So we've got that here. And we've got oh, grr, yippee, ugh, ha, whoopee. Okay. So those are the sounds. Some interjections can actually be part of a normal sentence. So a lot of us incorporate um. So we say um, I don't know about today, um. So we just, that's a sound. Gosh. So we go, ouch, eh, wow, oh, um, huh? Gosh. Okay, so those are just some more examples. Right, why should we use interjections? So you use interjections to express your strong feelings. Okay, and here's some examples. Oh no, I 
can't believe you did this to me. Or, ouch, that hurts. So it's expressing our strong feelings. Then let's look here. If it's a mild feeling, so it's not as a strong feeling, just use a comma before. So let's have a look here. We've got, hey, comma, are you going to? And then we have, when we show hesitation, we also use a comma. Um, comma, do you want the last bite? Yeah. Right, please grab your notebook again, or have it ready, and your pen. Okay, so you're going to do a little activity for me. Identify the interjections in the sentence. So all you need to do is write it down for me. You can pause this now so that you can answer the questions. I'm going to go through it so long. Oh my goodness, did you see how fast she went? What? You ate my potato? Please, I don't want to be a vampire. You monster, you made me a vampire. There's some vampires. Let's go through the answers. Right, so the first one, it has an exclamation mark. Oh my goodness, did you see how fast she went? Just telling us more, giving us more emotion. So she just can't believe how fast this person ran or went away. This person is not very happy. So they're saying, what? Like, how can you? You ate my potato. Maybe like you ate my chocolate. It's really a potato. It's not very exciting. But anyway. Please. So you actually... You're begging this person. You're showing emotion. I don't want to be a vampire. I don't blame you. Then we've got here the anger. You monsters. They're calling them a name. You monster. You made me a vampire. So there are our interjections. If you didn't get all of them, don't worry. We'll get there now. Okay, you can pause this again and write down answers. So here I'd like you to come up or create or use any of the examples or word interjections you heard before, just in these appropriate scenarios. So something, I'm hungry. I don't understand. I stumped my toe. It is Friday. I'm tired. You should be ashamed of yourself. Right, let's look at the answers. I would probably have said, sure, I'm hungry. Or you could say, wow, goodness, ugh, I'm so hungry. Then you can say, huh? Um, I don't understand. Ouch, I stubbed my toe, I stumped my toe. Yay, it's Friday, yippee, hooray. Then you can also say, Gosh, I'm tired. Phew, I'm tired. Ugh, I'm tired. Then you can also say, you should be ashamed of yourself. You can say, oh goodness, you should be ashamed of yourself. If you didn't get these answers, um, it's really okay, and I'm sure most of them would fit. Like I said in the first one, I came up with, if I think about it, I would say, sure, I'm hungry. Or phew. I don't understand. Okay. Again, I'd like you to use the following. Oh, wow, hey, please, and no. Remember to use exclamation marks and then write the complete sentence. So each one will fit one of these sentences. Okay, so, I need more time. What a wonderful time we had at the mall. So you have finally decided to go. What an incredibly rude thing to say. Come help me. Right, let's look at the answers. No, 
I need more time. Wow, what a wonderful time we had at the mall. Oh, so you have finally decided to go. Hey, what an incredibly rude thing to say. Please come help me. Now, if you had changed a few, it does make sense. So if I look at, no, I need more time. You could also say, hey, I need more time. But no doesn't really work with no. What an incredibly rude thing to say. But you can pause this video and just go through the answers if I went too quickly. How can using interjections help you? It helps you by communicating your ideas clearly. Also expressing yourself with emotion. Making your writing more exciting and fun to read. Now you might be wondering how will this be asked in a test? So let's have a look. You can again pause this and find the interjection for me. But I can see it. It's in frame two. Ah. So let's read what's happening. He kind of looks scared. The problem with having a tiger for a friend is that he always appears out of nowhere, coming right at you at a good 90 miles an hour. Ah! Did I, did I wake you guys up? <laughs> so he got a fright. So that is our interjection. And how it would be asked in a test could be identify the interjection in the cartoon, or they could ask you, they would give you the interjection and say, what is this part of speech called? And then you would say an interjection. So it could be a one mark um, question or a two mark question. Let's just look at one more. I'm sure you can see it. He looks very frustrated in frame two. So let's look at frame one. So what does the invitation say, you dumb hairball? Call me names, will you? I'll read it when I'm good and ready. So Calvin is very frustrated with Hobbes as he's taking his time reading this invitation. So as you can see in frame two, he is giving us a look at all these. Yo, let's see. Let's see. Ah, ah, mf, and I have no idea how to say that last one. But in a test or exam, again, you would probably have to identify it and they would be very specific in their question. So just read the question carefully and always look at the mark allocation. And let's look at the last thing before I go and you go. So let's recap. So interjections show emotion. It can show a sound. And it also helps you when you're writing to be more clear and, um, yeah. After this, I'd really like you to do an activity. And if you have any questions about this lesson, please do not hesitate to email at grade eight at worksheetcloud.com. And here's just a little motivation. Hopefully you're having a good day today. So with a new day comes new strength and new thoughts. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you very much for listening. Hopefully you can teach your parents a thing or two about interjections. And I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead. Thank you. Bye-bye.